the advent of digital care has been a game changer for us. Um, the ability to monitor 250 to 300 patients at a time um, uh, ha has transformed the service from being one that was unmanageable to one that is manageable. What we need to build even more on, and you know, the, 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 the steps are there because our colleagues in the digital world and NHSX in particular have been um, phenomenal right from the start of this pandemic, um, is actually building um, that relationship further to actually address other conditions going forward collaboratively. What's really, really important is that we do this together, that we properly collaborate, thinking about how the clinical care should be delivered in tandem with the digital tech that might support that. So I liken this to an iceberg um, diagram with the tip of the iceberg and the bit that's above the water at the moment being COVID. And, um, you know, we've managed to prove uh, very large reductions in mortality rates, um, length of stay, uh, readmissions, intensive care admissions from instituting COVID auxiliary at home strategies. Um, underneath that, the waterline, lies our opportunity and that includes the way we deal with all acute problems and and we break this down into how patients really present because they don't really present with a diagnostic label they present with a, a consternation of symptoms or a syndrome if you like and covid is, is is one element of that the second is in how we address chronic conditions and how we survey and monitor um, conditions like hypertension like heart failure chronic obstructive pulmonary disease, cancer, arthritis, diabetes, mental health. There are so many elements of healthcare and, um, that, need, that could be addressed through this model. 